Hi everyone, it's Sheila and today is Sunday and it is fall time. I want to first share with anyone who lives in the San Antonio area or if you have a local ATV. So I'm going to say this real quick and get this out there because it's very, very important. If you do have an ATV grocery store where you live and you are able to get your hands on the ATV coupons, like this is two of them, for example. There's a $2.50 coupon going on off of Revlon product bring a purchase of $3.50 or more. And then this one is off of the Milani Cosmetics. And this one does not have a minimum. So um, they do expire pretty recent. Um, one of them will expire on the 26th of this month. And the other one will expire on the uh, 5th of March. So you do, if you do live near an ATV, you really need to... After you get done listening to my video and you hit my subscribe button, get in your car and go to HEB and pick you up some cosmetics because you're going to get a really good deal. And especially if you're interested in any of these items I'm about to show you, I'm telling you, you will not regret it. And they did have a dollar off of rental products as well. They had dollar, I mean, they, if you shop at HEB or you are familiar with HEB, you know the coupon system that they have. So I don't really need to get into details with that. And if you don't, then go to just go to H E B if you have one and ask or look and you'll be able to figure it out. So anyhow, um I ended up going on Friday night and I picked up two of the Milani lipsticks. And I honestly was not sure if I was going to want to or I shouldn't say want to. I know I wanted to because everyone talks about them on YouTube, but I just wasn't sure if they were gonna work for me. Because I do have a hard time with drugstore lipsticks. They, the smell and the taste always gets me. And every drugstore lipstick seems to have a smell and a taste. Well, not every, but every one that I've tried. I'll put it that way. And I haven't tried a whole buku of them because I have had such, such high unsuccess rate or failure rate that I just tend to not buy them. But these were really getting the best of me because every time I would see someone, like when I would see Trish, you know, swatch them, or I, I saw Michelle, um, was it? I can't remember her whole YouTube name, but when I saw Michelle swatch them, I was like, God, those colors are beautiful, and I really want to try them, but I just kept telling myself no, because when they started saying that they smelled like fruit, I was like, oh no, that's probably really bugged the heck out of me, and they do smell like juicy fruit gum, is what I feel, but only when you first open them up, and you, when you first bring the two close to your lips, you can smell it faintly. But then after you apply it, it, the smell goes away and there's no freaking taste. So I'm like so excited. So anyway, I came home Friday, tried the one, liked it, wore it all day yesterday, went to the rodeo, ate, drank, you know, the, you know, the whole nine yards, did not reapply it except for one time, reapplied my lipstick. And that was right before Darius Rucker came on because I was wanted to be beautiful in case he looked up in the audience and decided that I was going to be, you know, the woman of his dreams or whatever. So it didn't happen. So. I'm going to stay with my husband. But anyway, <laughs> but um, yeah, I, you know, the same power was magnificent. Did not chap my lips. Did not dry out my lips at all. My lips feel moist. It just oh, awesome. I did have them on, have it on with a lip liner though, which, <coughs> you know, I can't say that, you know, I, I mean, I'm sure that that helped. Excuse me. So yeah, I'm just super, super excited. But I ended up going back out today because I set out to, I figured I might as well try several of them for that price. And I ended up picking up a whole lot of them. Like, I'm really excited and scared all at the same time because I can't believe I just made, I just bought this many lipsticks at one time. I've never done that. But then I usually buy high-end ones and I can afford to do this all at one time. So, but this is, oops, I'm dropping them because I want you to see the colors. Like, I really want you to see the colors. Look at this. Look at the colors that I got. And I will go down the colors real quickly for you. And I want to save my boring stuff for last. So, um, but I had a $2 off coupon and these were $4.97 or 99 cents. So that made them, we'll say $2.50 each. Now on my list is what I have, I have on the Beauty Bronze, which, I'm sorry, Bronze Beauty, which is the number 31. Get those down. Okay, absolutely love this color. Was not sure about it at first because the metallic-y looking ones I kind of worry about, but I love it. Like, it really looks good on my lips. I muted it out a little bit with um, a lip liner from MAC, which the lip liner I have on today from MAC is called Hoover, 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 the vacuum cleaner. 
Vancouver. And so I have the this lipstick or lip liner. I don't know how well I'm not gonna be able to see. With this lipstick. So I did mute it out just enough to make it workable for me. So there you have it. And I'm not going to do swatches over the rest of them. Why am I take my glasses off? I need them to see. Because it's just going to take too long. So, and everyone's probably seen a lot of these colors. And if you haven't, you know, you can't really test them out or anything in the store. It's just going to be a hit and miss. And just try to buy them somewhere where you know that you can return them if you don't like the color. But then I, I got Orange Gina, which is number 03. And then I got Number 22, Shield Brandy, which is a very pretty, like, um, burgundy color. And then I got um, number 16, Flirty Future. And then I got number 19, Raspberry Flush. And then I got um, number 25, Naturally Chic. So, I am super excited. I've only tried... I've tried the, um, you know what, I don't see the one, I have another one, the one that I had on yesterday. Where is that, the Flamingo Pose? Oh, you know what, I think it's in my purse, so we won't worry about that one, but you see it in my outfit of the day, and I absolutely love that one. That was like my favorite color, and um, of course I haven't tried any of these other colors, so the only other color I've tried is the, um, is the, the bronzy one, which was, what did I say, bronze? beauty so in which is what I have on my lipstick. But I'm really excited about wearing these. Um more excited about the fact that they only cost me two dollars and fifty cents each. And um if these are going to work as well as the first two that I have worked then I have myself a great drugstore lipstick that I will probably use and use and use. And I may even try to make get me some backup for them once I find out which colors I like the best. So moving right along and sharing with you on coupon deals. I only have one of the lip, what is these, what are these pants? lip butters, um, from Revlon. And, um, I don't, like I said, I don't, I don't get on the whole drugstore bandwagon because I have a hard time with them. But I did buy one of those and that one did work for me also. So I was really excited. Um, and, um, I kept saying I wanted to get another one. Well, I just, didn't really want to pay the money for them because honestly, I think they're a little bit overpriced for a drugstore item. And so, but ATV had the $2.50 off coupon for anything that was $3.50 or more. So these at ATV was $6.49. And I'm struggling trying to get this paper off of this thing so that I can show you this lipstick. But I'm not having any luck. I don't know if I'm going to get this off while we're talking or not. But anyway, um, so I had a dollar off coupon as well, and so that meant three dollars and fifty cents off. So I ended up getting this one for three dollars, which to me is a great deal and worth me trying. Now this color is called I'm my glasses out again. Just this is part of this video, may I may need to keep my glasses on the entire time. It is uh, the number 050, which is called Berry Smoothie. Yeah, Berry Smoothie. And that's what this one looks like. And um, I think I'm going to like this color. It's very sheer, though, which I guess that's what the lip butters are. I don't know. You can't see it, so don't worry about it. But um, I'm excited about having that one as kind of like a, you know, to have, to throw in my purse to have a lipstick that will be sheer, not a lot of color, but give me some moisture and things of that nature. So I'm pretty excited about that one. Like I said, I'm, I like the Milani ones probably way more on first impression than the lip butters, but I do, I do like the one that I have and I enjoy wearing it when I do wear it. So we're going to. Definitely give those a shot. And then I got a um, a dual sharpener from Milani, and this was like two dollars and ninety seven cents, so it ended up being a dollar. 
whoa. Now, of course, I've never used their pencil sharpener. Can't tell you anything about it. But a pencil sharpener for a dollar, you just can't beat it. And I do love the ones that have the little encased, so the case around it so that when you're sharpening them, the stuff is going to go everywhere. So I want to probably take this one in my purse. And then I got um, from Milani. Also, I'm kind of going all over the place. I apologize. Here's my flamingo. There it is. I did have it in the bag. I got um, from Milani. I also got a couple of lip liners. I think those were the only ones. Yeah. I got a couple of lip liners, which these were, I think, um, really, they were $3.37 or, I can't remember. But they ended up being like a dollar something, like a dollar twenty-five or a dollar. I don't, I don't remember, but I ended up getting um, the number zero five, and this one's called Hope Pink. So I'm really excited about that one. And then I got that's a little pencil, and then this one is number zero seven, and this one is called Bert. No. It's called Brandy. Yeah, Brandy. The number 07. So, and this one's kind of like a, I don't know, it's almost like a deep burgundy brown color or something. So, that one's pretty interesting to me. I They had a couple other ones, but I just wasn't sure about those colors. And I just, you know, I probably should have got them for the price. And, of course, I've never tried their lip liner, so I honestly don't know how they're going to work. But then they also had a dollar off of any Rimmel products. And there was no price point on those. So I ended up getting um, 005, and it's called Pure. And this is a lip liner um, pencil. Now, I normally don't like the mechanical ones, but this color is beautiful. And now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have went on and got – they had one more of these, and I probably should have went on and got it because this was $3.27. So after the dollar off coupon, it made it like 2 bucks. So – couldn't beat that. And then I went on and got another backup of the Rimmel uh, Perfect Match, which, like I said, I have this one that I've been using, and I do love it. And I, this color it seems to be hard to find because I do, whenever I go to drugstores or anywhere, Walmart or anything, I look to see if I see this color again because I do know that I didn't want to be out of it, you know, like miss out. If I run out of this, I want to be able to still get another one. And so since they had this one, the dollar off made this one like $3, I think, at HEB. And then that is it for um, HEB. Well, you know, let me just go ahead and show you these two things because then I'll move on from HEB altogether. And I got, they had $1.50 off coupon for any um, Vaseline product that you buy. And um, so I ended up getting the Vaseline Total Moisture and the Vaseline Cocoa Butter um, Vaseline. So I got lotion and Vaseline. And I'm pretty excited about both. I love, I use this, not this particular lotion. This one's my first one. The one that, um, the Pure Oats Extract. This is my first time using this one, but I use all the other ones and I love them. I love the Vaseline lotions. And I, I love Vaseline. I've just never used the one that was, um, the cocoa butter until the other day. And I bought this on Friday night. And I really, really do like this. It, I love putting it on my lips and I will, you know, some, like when I get home from work, a lot of times I will take this and rub it and rub it around my cuticles and I rub it right in here on my hands just to, to try to keep my hands as soft as possible because I do put my hands in water a lot at work, you know, washing my hands because I deal with a lot of things that I still get germy and, you know, freak me out and stuff. So anyhow, and you know what? I almost forgot. I did pick these two up at Walmart, I mean, not Walmart, at HEB the other night. The hook lacquer, uh, which as I shared with you all on my nail video, that um, I'm kind of all over the place, yes. But this is one of my go-to products for my nails. I have used this for years and years and years. This is $2.99 at your local HEB. If you don't have an HEB, you can get it at Sally's. And I believe at Sally's it's like $3.99. But this is awesome stuff. It keeps your nail polish on, makes your nails tough, helps your nails to grow. It's hook lacquer. It's what they use on horse hooks. So, I mean, think about it. Those horses have to trot on their little hooks, and so they're 
the hooks have to be really strong. So this is really good stuff. Like I highly recommend this. So I had to pick up two more of those. And I think that is it for ATB. And I'm just getting that stuff all over my hand. But um so then I um this well I guess last weekend I went to the CPS store and for you you all who don't know, I recently got employed at um with Estee Lauder and I go to class on Wednesday and Thursday. I am going to do um not freelance work, but I'm going to be one of their um I do I'll be working the events with them. I, I'm not sure exactly how all that works. I'm gonna find out when I go to class. But I'm real excited about it. But I went to the CPS store and oh and um I get an extra thirty percent off at the CPS store and so once I found that out I truly had to um make some purchases. Now of course these are from the Sailor collection, looking at the box, I think that's what it was called. But I found two items that were from the Sailor Collection that I really, really like. This pencil, which I don't have the pencil in here. The pencil's right here. This is Throw Me a Line lip pencil. And I honestly think I'm going to go back and get another one of these. I truly love this lip pencil. I actually had this on yesterday with the Flamingo Pose. And, oh, my gosh, these two look, like, perfect together. Like, they just really look good on my lips. So I really, really like that. And then I got this... Um, this is like a, a orangey red lipstick, which that's what it looks like. There we go. And this one is called, um, what's it called? C'est la vie. And this is a lip stain. I mean, a, a, a lip stain. It is, um, a satin, um, I can't think it's consistency, yeah. So I'm pretty excited about um this one. I um it's kind of it's kinda of orangey, um, which I have already a couple orange ones, but maybe I can mix it up with another lipstick or change it up with a liner. It it almost looks like one of them I already have, but for the price I want to go ahead and get it. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I ended up going to I'm looking around to make sure I'm showing y'all everything. I went to Walgreens today. I had to take back two lipsticks that I bought. Go figure that one. They were by the Rimmel brand. Cannot wear those. They they bother me. <clears throat> There's a horrible smell that I just don't like. So I picked me up another Georgiana um, eyeliner pencil in the black. I love this pencil. It is very good. And so I thought, you know, since I was in there, I might as well get another one. And then I got another of the um, Best Lash Extreme from Jordana, Jordana, which I keep saying Jordana. It's Jordana. Um, and I love both of these products a lot. And um had to be a little bit before I open either one of these. But for the price, and I don't always find the pencil at my Walgreens. So, when, in fact, I got the last one today. So, yeah, I really like these products. And the only other thing I can show you is my L'Oreal. Uh, I got two of these. I don't know what the other one is, but the color that I had on last week, and then this one is what I have on today, which just turned out to be just kind of a regular old pink to me. It looks a lot more busy in the in the bottle, but this one is the number one twelve, and it is called Members Only. So I did pick up two of these at Walgreens last week, and these will buy one get one fifty percent off. So, um. <clears throat> yeah, so that is my all my makeup and cosmetics for the week. And um, honestly, I think I'm going to stop there and I'm going to do a separate video for my clothing because my throat's getting scratchy and I probably need to stop and rest my voice a little bit. Yeah, I'm kind of looking around to make sure I did show you all everything. I'm just so excited about the items that I got and the prices that I paid. So I do encourage you, if any of this stuff looks fascinating to you, and like I said, you can get to an HEB, definitely go out and give it a shot. And then if um, if anything you have a question on or you want me to do a review on or anything like that, feel free to ask me as well, and I'll be more than happy to do so. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here real quick and uh, have a wonderful, wonderful evening. God bless, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.